Cameron County officials keep saying FEMA is here to help. But for those who were helped during Hurricane Dolly and don't have flood insurance because they don't qualify, those are empty promises. Local 23's Derek Garcia is at FM 506, where for more than 21 days, their homes were underwater. Derek, what's it like there now, and are they getting any help? Hey, good evening, Brenna. FM 506 is relatively a quiet road. Aside from the occasional car that passes by, the homes are empty, and that's because in June they were flooded out, and now in August, it's unclear when they're going to get rebuilt. To rebuild the whole thing again, to start a new life again, in other words. So it's going to be hard, but I mean, the good Lord is helping us out, and we'll, we'll get there. Margarito Perez is planning on moving back into his home this week, despite not having air conditioning or electrical. Just a battery operated clock on the wall and his dog Wolfie. And here was my kitchen and cabinet right there, right along and now. This has been his home for more than 60 years, but today it's a hollow shell of what it used to be. In late June, it was underwater after heavy rainfall pounded Cameron County. Margarito and many who live off of Texas Farm Road 506 believe the flooding wasn't Mother Nature, but man made. Margarito is left with a $45,000 damage assessment from a contractor. He doesn't know what to do. How are you going to pay for all that? Well, he's going to have to live better at a time. Or, uh, i got to go uh, rob a bank. <laughs> With he's staying bank. positive despite the crushing finances. His home didn't have flood insurance, and FEMA might not be the answer. He was told because he received financial assistance during Hurricane Dolly, he doesn't qualify for help. But he doesn't remember getting help from FEMA. We went to FEMA's disaster recovery center to see if Dolly victims don't qualify turns out it's complicated. Just because you received help during Hurricane Dolly does not necessarily mean that you cannot receive um, support during this disaster. Latanga hopes with FEMA explain each home and each disaster declaration is different and requires a case-by-case -case look at what assistance is available. Okay. And if they didn't qualify for frontage flood insurance, they definitely need to come in here. Margarito is in a complicated spot. It all depends on what's available and what he qualifies for. Now, without any type of significant bank loan or FEMA assistance, he doesn't know how his home is going to be rebuilt. And that's a story that we're hearing from many of the homeowners here on FM 506. Brenda, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you. If you've been impacted by floods and are having problems with FEMA or your insurance, we want to hear from you. Send us an email at news at kveo.com along with pictures of that damage.